Hi, this is Wendy and I've been with ServiceNet for 20 years. Over these years I've gotten a chance to meet hundreds of different staff members and program residents and have done so many different things. The thing I will perhaps remember the most and treasure is the Disney trip with the Endless and some of our residents. I feel very fortunate to have had so many wonderful opportunities here at ServiceNet. Many of our staff members have been here for 5, 10, 15, 20, and even 25 years and we've put together a short video featuring these staff. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm Amanda Harrison. I work for the Pathways Program currently. And I started working for ServiceNet five years ago at Pathways Program in Greenfield. And I had a wonderful experience there. My supervisor, David Yolish, was just incredible. And I decided this is what I want to do. So I went back to grad school, got my degree in counseling, and was hired as the program director of the Pathways in Northampton. So I've been there for two years now, and I love my job, I love my team and my clients, and there are days when I get paid to go to the beach, and there are days that I get paid to be sworn at, and I like both equally. So I guess I just would like to say that it's been wonderful working for ServiceNet, and I hope to be here for my tenure too. Hello, my name is John Plummer and I've been an employee now with ServiceNet for 15 years. Um, I started out as a relief worker at the Greenfield Family Inn. Uh, the bulk of my time with ServiceNet has been spent at the Silver Street Inn in Greenfield. Uh, I'm currently employed at the uh, Valley Inn in Florence. Um, it's been a wonderful experience working with ServiceNet. Uh, I had a lot of great co-workers. I have a lot of great clients who have gone on and uh, reached unbelievable successes. Um, it's, it's challenging work at times, but um, I'm glad that I've chosen to work in human services. Um, I have a lot of hobbies. I'm a very uh, strong sports enthusiast and I travel all across the country to watch my sports teams play, play their uh, professional sports. Uh, my favorite teams are the Red Sox and the Dallas Cowboys. And um, I've been to several hundred games over the over the years, and um, I hope to live a long life and to see each of them win another World Series and another Super Bowl. Thank you. I'm uh, Susan Foley. I've been here now 25 years. I started out and my hair was all brown. And I have been doing emergency services in respite, worked at respite in the various capacities, and I've been doing emergency services as a revenue coordinator, tracking down the elusive insurance companies for about seven years. And I love working for both of them. Um, the programs are doing a good job and the team is a great team to work with. Okay, so my name is Kara and I've been with ServiceNet for five years. I started doing relief um, for many different programs and then I became a counselor for Amherst Apartments, and then I moved on to site manager in Greenfield, and now I'm back here in Amherst as a site manager. Um, I really enjoy my time with the clients. I've been able to form some really good relationships, and I just got back from New York with one of our clients here who had a dream of staying over in New York, and I got to be a part of that. So we spent the night and saw a Broadway show, and I find a lot of rewards rewarding experiences working at ServiceNet. Hello, my name is Willa Barber and I work at the William Berg. I have been working for this program for the past five years. I've also worked in the mental health field for 33 years. Can you tell? Oh, they always say, you know, association brings the simulation. Thank you. My name is Ethel Thomas, and I've been with ServiceNet almost six years. Previously, I had worked at Monson Development Center. I retired in 2001, and found out I couldn't live off of retirement pay, so I needed a job, and talked to Beth, and she encouraged me to Passport job, I was high, and it's really been an enjoyable experience for me because I got to work with people 
that I could talk to. I had worked with, you know, uh, people that didn't talk. And it was nice to work with people that you can have a conversation with. And I've enjoyed working here ever since. I also do relief uh, work in another residence. And I love the people there. Everybody's been so nice. I've had a wonderful experience. Um, these past five years have been so rewarding and fulfilling. Working with the clients is, is great. It's just it's good to see even the smallest things that we do to make their life that much greater. It's, it's, just, it's a great thing. Um, peer support has always been good. It's good to vent about the bad days and to celebrate the good. And uh, it's just I'm lucky enough to be able to say I enjoy my job and hope to have many more years of enjoying my job. Thanks. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm here with the Middle Street program. Um, started as relief about five years ago and I've worked my way up from direct staff now to senior staff. I've been in that position for a little bit now. It's pretty good. Um, you know, the, the clients are, it's really good to see uh, how much they've grown and changed and how much they've achieved in the time I've been here and knowing that I've hopefully helped that makes me feel pretty good about working for ServiceNet. Hi, my name is Opal. Um, I've been working for Middle Street for five years. First I started as a um, release person and then I became full-time since five years ago. And um, you know, I have so much fun and I'm happy to work in this program and uh, yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Trey Moms. I'm from Cambodia. Uh, I have been working with uh, ServiceNet for, for five years and I do like a lot and uh, especially I like my all my co-workers they are really nice and especially my all my clients they are so good and kind of like a, they help me I help them so that's great I do like ServiceNet a lot. Hi my name is Andrew Ramos and uh, I'm working right now with the uh, Hamden County job crew. I take the uh, clients out and we do landscaping at different sites and uh, we also uh, do planting and mulching and lay up uh, some type of bricks and stuff which the guys enjoy very much and they have a good time I like to I always like to work and they get a break on uh, Friday they should go out for uh, lunch instead of bringing their lunch. So I enjoy working for ServiceNet. I hope I'll be here for a few more years. Thank you. Uh, my name is Shannon Ketch and I work at the Mountain Street program in Haydenville and I've been at ServiceNet for seven years. First two years I worked um, as a relief staff and uh, this is the second program that I've worked at and um, the first program, I, it, I learned uh, how to deal with a lot of challenges, but I enjoyed it towards the end. And then when I moved to Mountain Street, I was more prepared to, to deal with the changes, the, the different things that were going to uh, lay in front of me here. And um, it's, I guess it's important for me when I, uh, to be to maintain a sense of humor and be creative about my job and um, so I kind of try to figure out what uh, the commonalities are between me and, and the guys I counsel and uh, and from there I try to figure out how best to make uh, work more of a good time you know so that uh, the guys here at Mountain Street have have a more uh, fulfilling sort of life situation and uh, wins growing up. Um, and aside from that, I, uh, I I put a garden in with the guys up here, and we go on vacation together, and I spend five days a week here. 
most of the time I'm having a great time. So. Hey, hi, my name is Adam Vasquez. I'm the program director for MRS Bed and Jamrock Drive. Um, I've been working for ServiceNet for almost five years. Um, it's been a great experience at ServiceNet. People are great. Um, I have good staff, great supervisor. Um, I've been working in the human field about 20 years, um, and this is by far the best agency I've worked for. And I guess that's it. Hi, my name is William Harrison, and um, I have been a residential um, counselor for ServiceNet for five years now. I like working for the ServiceNet because it's a rewarding career. I enjoy working with individuals who I can help guide their behaviors and help them make the right choices within their daily routines. Thank you. My name is Grant Kendrick. Uh, I work at Emergency Services as a crisis clinician. Um, they tell me I've been here 20 years, although it's been part-time, so it really doesn't add up to a full 20 years. Um, in fact, I've worked 0 .6, so that's really only 12 years of actually working. Uh, uh, it's interesting to reflect on how I've, what I've liked about the work and how I've, I've managed to last for 20 years in a field that typically has much higher turnover than than that, that longevity is not the rule. Um, you know, part of it is I think I don't really remember one day to the next, and so like I worked last night and I really couldn't tell you what happened, and so next time I come in it's just like it's the first day for me. Um, but thinking about it, 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 it's a type of work that suits me. Uh, I've always enjoyed the variety of clients, always enjoyed uh, my colleagues who I found supportive and interesting and fun to hang out with. Uh, and I guess by nature I'm just a helper and there's always every day there's opportunities to try to try to make someone's life a little bit better and that has kept me going. My name is Jan Novak. I've been a ServiceNet employee for about 20 years now. I'm currently working at the Sunderland House program. I've also worked at Greenfield Apartments back when it was uh, at Leiden Road in the Leiden Woods Apartments complex and I also worked at the Madison Circle program. Um, I've also worked in other agencies and companies in my 20-year career in human services. I've worked briefly at the Brattleboro Retreat. I worked at the Greenfield Emergency Services many years ago and I've also worked out in eastern Massachusetts at a shelter for delinquent teens, so I've kind of covered a broad spectrum of human services places. Um, I find it fascinating work. I really enjoy dealing with people. I feel that I have a lot to offer people. I'm a pretty good listener, and you know, the clients who've known me for many years seem to value my opinions and like talking to me. Um, it's a nice job to have. You know, it's, it's never like the same thing every day. You know, things change. You know, even if there's a routine, there's still little twists and turns in any given day. So it keeps you occupied. And I know there's a lot of people who, like, I've met over the years who've wondered how I haven't, like, burnt out after working human services for 20 years. And my answer is that I have, like, little points of burnout. I think it's true for anybody. It's like you're going to reach little burnout points, but in whatever way I seem to manage to like work through it, you know, renew my energy and come back at the job again strong. I guess it's just like a gift or, you know, something. You know, so it keeps me going, you know, I've enjoyed my career here at ServiceNet. I don't foresee myself leaving anytime soon. And, you know, hopefully there'll be you know, lots of dynamic changes going on in the agency. I know I've heard a lot of things talked about you know new programs and ways uh, that they're going to try to get the residents of various programs more interested in physical fitness and their own health so it's a pretty interesting time exciting time to be a service net employee and I'm looking forward to seeing what the next several years bring thank you